So yeah, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Malik Sterling. Today I have a special guest here with me. Uh, I wouldn't do much of the talking. I would let her introduce herself. And if this is your first time watching us, kindly make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, you know, leave your comments. Stick and stay for um, a very exciting conversation. So let me get to her. She will introduce herself, and then I will get to it. So, uh, Madam, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank uh, you. Can you introduce yourself. My name is Nora. Okay. I am the CEO of Beauty Techniques and I am also beauty, an ex beauty, technique. Beauty. 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 Oh, 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 calm beauty. down. <clears throat> um, calm. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I am the CEO of Beauty Techniques. Okay. It's actually uh, a beauty spa. Oh. So, we do everything thing. beauty from makeup, pedicure, facials, massage, waxing, and everything. And I am also an explorer as well. So I like to visit places, you know, get to see new, beautiful spots, taste foods, you know, yeah. So that's why I do basically. I'm impressed because if you should ask me to introduce myself, I'll tell you my name is Malik. I live in Qatar and I'm from Ghana. That's how I would say about <laughs> myself. Yeah, so anyway, that's nice. You know, women, they always want to spice things up. So yeah, yeah it kind of makes sense. Okay, that's fine. And you're from Ghana, right? Sure. Is this your first time in Qatar? Mm hmm. So, first question I want to ask you, if I really know Qatar or if I have people in Qatar, uh, I for one would never be someone to visit Qatar around this time. Did you do your findings or did you ask people before visiting Qatar? Because we are in the summer now, it's super hot. Why, why did you choose to come around this time? Or you didn't know? Well, I knew, I won't lie. Okay, but it's still I interesting. Was, yes, I was advised to come. <laughs> earlier than this time okay. but then i i was caught up with styles and then i mean um this is the time that i'm actually free so i just decided to come during this period i knew there was going to be heat but then i was just ready for it so yeah okay yeah. And i see you're wearing black it's not easy to be wearing myself i'm wearing black <laughs> but at least it's sleeveless right so uh, yeah i'm still catching some you know some air because it's super hot over here around yeah, this time very, very so um, people might ask what is the right time to come to qatar is there is no right or wrong time to come to qatar but i would please or plead with you to come to qatar during summer because that is the best time yeah. to come to qatar here. so yeah. um, what is your mission in qatar here? why why did you come to qatar here? is it purposely for visiting or you came here for business meeting or something well i came here to check out the nice places here i'm actually the type that likes to visit you know i am very adventurous so yeah what i like of, what, to what type of adventure are you into no as in the type of adventure you're talking you, i don't know what you're thinking no, though, no i'm but not then, thinking about anything yeah no, no but worries. then i like to visit you know tourist sites Side, oh. yeah um get to know uh, new you know cultures, cultures. You know, yeah, so that is why so I came here. How long have you been here now? It's been a week now, a week like, yeah. Now. Have, you, yeah. have you been able to visit some places? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where have you visited so far? Uh, the it's okay, if you don't I... remember the, the, the well, names, it's fine, but the few that um, you visited so far, what's oh, their names? So the uh, Banana Island. Oh. And guess the... what, I've been in Qatar for six years, I've never been to Banana Island. <laughs> that's, that's I've cool. been that's to cool. the Sukwa Kif. Sukwa Kif, yeah. Um, I've been to the uh, Katara uh, Cultural Village. Cultural Village, yeah. I've been, there, I've yeah. been to uh, the Museum of Art. Oh, yeah, museum. yeah. So yeah, and many more. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Qatar is not too big, so I think you've done almost half of it. Yeah. You need to go to the sea line. That's the de where the desert meets the sea. Okay. And, um, some other designated places, like some other very, very mm -hmm. popular places that you would need to visit. So, um, earlier on you told me you work for, or you are a travel and tour agency as well, right? Would you want to touch on that or you wouldn't want to, because it would be a very good advertisement for you as well, because a lot of people watching <laughs> might want to come to Qatar or might want to, first of all, your company, um, where do you travel people to or where? Okay, so it's, uh, the name of the company is Anointing Traveling and Tour. Anointing Traveling and Tour. Yes, okay. Anointed Traveling anointed and Tour, traveling yeah. And tour, okay. okay, so what we do is um, we take people on tour around the world yeah different countries depending on where you would want to visit can you give me three countries like your top countries that you've flew people to 
Well, uh, Dubai is part, okay. Canada, Australia. Oh, yeah. These are places uh, my, yeah. my viewers would like to visit. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, how can they contact you? Is it through IG or through. Oh, it's okay. You can give it to me. I will just put sure, it in the description sure, sure, box. Sure. So, yeah, you can follow her and then yeah. uh, if you want to travel, she's your <laughs> new travel intelligence in yeah. town now. You can contact her and then yeah. she will be your plug. So, yeah. how do you like the place so far, Qatar? How do you like it so far? Well, because me, I'm tired of this place. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm tired. Well, because there is not much to do here. Well, no. there's not, but then there is. I mean, you can't say you would come here and you wouldn't get places to visit and things to do. Do you get me? Because I've been here and I've never been. To been Dubai? Yeah. Okay, good. I've not. Okay. So hold on. I've always wanted to have this conversation with people <laughs> okay. who visited Dubai. Okay. Uh, someone told me that Dubai immigration is super tight. Uh, how is it like? Like when you get to. Dubai airport, right? Mm. How is the system like? How is the how is the operation like as compared to Qatar over here? Which one is more stressful? Well, I... which one is stress free? Like you get to the airport, you just get your luggage and off you go. I think which Dubai one? is really per my experience because when I got to Dubai, I didn't um, stress much, right? No, I just got my luggage and then I was just out of there. Hmm. But with here in Qatar, when I got to the airport, I had um, I think the immigration, they, they kept asking me questions. Do you have drugs? Ooh. Do you? I'm like, I was like, drugs? So this is just like the opposite of what I heard from. Yeah, like people. I had, I had them asking me like questions and you know, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know for others, but then with me, I think, um, Dubai's immigration is quite okay as compared to here. Well, so, that is what I would say. Guys, I just want to achieve this through. The reason why I asked her this question is because I, I had a conversation with one guy who has lived in Dubai for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And whenever he leaves Dubai and he comes back, probably this is because he lives there. I think so. Because he's like, the immigration takes him to a certain room or a particular what? room where they strip him naked, they check everywhere. Even the backside, they have to check everything. So. Well, I don't know. I feel like it depends on your appearance. To me, mm. I always say this, that appearance is really, really important. important. Sometimes... It speaks a lot of... Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you would look in a certain way and people would want to treat you the way you look and you wouldn't understand. But then, you know, people don't pay attention to these things. Right. If I am dressed in a certain way or... Let me just say I am working at the airport and I have this serious or maybe I look to, you know, will make people want to ask you like, you why? know, want to hear. Yeah. Me, yeah. I think the reason why uh, I got the immigration people asking me questions was because um, when I got to the airport, I was just supposed to just like go. But then okay. I was just at some point I had to stand you know because i'm trying to create content oh. i was just doing videos i was just you know so i was i think i was wasting Much a lot of time, time so yeah, at the airport they so they'll ask. definitely come to me yeah, and ask me questions sense. so i think that is why but if it's about them putting me somewhere trying to search me and all those things i don't think yeah so yeah so that's it and, um, you said you've been here for over a week yeah right? i mean you've been to dubai so i don't think anything over over here in this country will surprise you. Yeah. What is one thing that surprised you most about Qatar? Like, because don't talk about skyscrapers. You have thousands of them in Dubai. The don't only, talk about the only, culture. The they only have thing, rich culture too. The only thing that surprised me, honestly, was the weather at Banana Island. Like the, I don't know is it, if is it good or bad. I don't know if it's different. Like the heat there is a bit hotter than if you come here because when it's i got island. there i actually actually i almost fell sick really yeah because my eyes were popping out and you know when you're taking videos you can't even see what you're doing I understand. it was when i got back <laughs> that was when i realized that oh these pictures were actually bright over there yeah everything looked dark right the place is very beautiful but, but hot. i wanted to move like I was just asking if they can get me the next boat to leave because the heat was just... So and Dubai, I, mean, I I think Dubai maybe I would say maybe it's because I came here at the wrong time, wrong like time. you said. Yeah. So maybe if people 
um, want to come here, I mean, I would advise them to ask or make, um, you know, some research to know the perfect um, time to I'm be here. If not, here. I mean, they would also face the same problem, just like so you mean I am. Dubai is not this, this, this hot. Dubai is not. You know, oh, when I went, maybe you went to Dubai at the right, at the right time. I went to Dubai in January. Course. And when I went, I mean, it's winter. when I had people asking me how is the weather, mm -hmm. and I was like, I didn't even feel it was hot. Yeah, but you know, nah. when you're moving around, even coming out, it wasn't that you get me. Yeah, I get it. But when That's I landed nice. here, the moment I just came out of there was just heat for me. It's like that. It's like we're waiting for you, and then yeah, I remember it. It also happens to me whenever I leave this country yeah. and I come back from the airport. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel, I feel, I feel like I want it's to very go hot. Back to the airport. And you know, people think since I am black and I am from Ghana, you know, they shouldn't even complain about the, the heat. heat. Right. I don't think the heat in Ghana. I don't no, know, no, no, but no. Ghana, Ghana can never be this hot. If no, Ghana gets this hot, people, people will go crazy. Yeah, because the heat here it's is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> During this period, there's no good thing to be here. Yeah. And yeah. the thing is, the heat over here is not. Pre you can predict it. Yeah. Today. It yeah. gets a bit warm tomorrow. It gets super hot. Yeah. The next day it gets a bit yeah. warm. It's like, you know, you can't even predict how the weather is yeah. going to be. But yeah. it's much understandable. And I even learned that uh, it's even going to be worse in the next month. Is it so? Yeah, yeah I, I heard. I heard in, that as August, time goes no, on. No, I guess I think the first two, three weeks in August mm -hmm. will be. S similar, it's going to be hot, and then mm -hmm. the fourth week to be like to be reducing, and then yeah. we'll be getting into the uh, winter. Mm. So, how long do you plan to, to stay? When are you leaving? Well, I want to leave soon because there's too the much issue. heat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's okay. That is, if you want to stay yeah. indoors, the AC. Because yeah. I remember you told me you're feeling too cold, right? Inside, we yes. So look at that. Yes. They complain about the AC when we are indoors, and then they complain about the heat. See, when we even outside. even in Ghana, I'm not the type that actually likes um, the AC, AC. Right. Oh. and I also don't like heat. So, so it should be like, the, like you know in between. Home. So even <laughs> even back in Ghana, when there's too much heat, I on. It's too cold, I off. So this is I how I'll just I'll just be offing and on in my yeah. I understand. So. Um, people who want to come to Qatar, right? Mm -hmm. Not to work because mm -hmm. you are not here for work, so yeah. you might not know the working aspect or yeah. the things that takes or the things that goes into a person working over here. Mm -hmm. Someone who wants to visit, mm -hmm. what would you give them as an advice? Would you ask them to carry a power bank along? Would you, because probably you'll be taking a lot of videos and okay. pictures and your battery mm -hmm. might run low. Mm -hmm. you, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Anyone who wants to visit Qatar for tourism, like just to come to Qatar okay, for... Okay, so the first advice I would give is for you to make sure you are here at the right time. Because if you are not the type that can manage heat, I mean, I don't think you would even want to step out. Yes. And the second thing I would say is to have a budget. Good. That was one thing. Yes. Damn, that question skipped me. Is this country expensive? No, I wouldn't say it is. She says it's not expensive. I wouldn't say it is. Um, I mean, I did uh, some research. I, I think the transportation here is, is yeah, good, it's, it's and I hard. like the fact that it's a tax-free country as well. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So those you, are the two advices. You, you yeah, give no, me two no, advices. Yeah, so, so you need to have a budget because okay. even though some of the places are free, like there are other places too that are um, quite expensive if you convert it into our currency back in Ghana. Yes. That's so one if, thing that's one thing you don't need to do. Yes. If you want so, to buy something, go ahead and buy it. Yes. Don't, don't do that is what I'm saying. You need yeah. to come with money money like money because if you really want to have fun i mean even if it's not even uh in qatar here even in ghana if you still want to have fun you still need money to have fun 100%. yes so um yeah um another thing is um to know about the taxis you know like maybe you would get an uber 
and I learned there's also um, a is it a bar or something that takes you around the whole day like you get like you guys have cheaper means of of traveling around yes yes yes. there's a few bars actually that gets you from a a particular point to the train station and it's free yes and i also think you should also get a good source from here like somebody that can actually one? like a good um, oh, 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 like someone who lives here y- yes or maybe somebody that knows here, here yeah. that like you know that because like if you don't person, yes right? if you don't meet the right person i mean um you wouldn't get to visit certain places some of the things you need somebody to guide you i even feel know? like mm-hmm. if you want to go to a country and have much fun you need to Sure. It depends. It depends. If you get a good person, yeah. the country because, would look Because yes, very because cheap I came on a solo trip. Okay. Trust me. Even though um, I feel like I can do a lot of things on my own, I can say that if I had not gotten people to like help me, I wouldn't be able to do those things. Right. So I would say that if you're coming here, you would um, get to meet somebody or try your best. At least to, to get friends, somebody, to yeah, somebody, yes, somebody mm-hmm. that can actually, you know, help you. You okay. know, yes. Okay, that's 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 mm-hmm. that's a very good point. So, yes. first thing she said is to come at the right time. Make sure you know the time and don't come during summer mm-hmm. unless you're a summer person. You want to summer, 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 summer. But if not, do your research. Come at the right time. Make sure you're on a budget, get enough money as you can because mm-hmm. places can be expensive mm-hmm. and cheap at the same time. Yeah. Also, the third thing she made mention of is to know someone before you get here. Yeah. Try know someone in Qatar before you get here. Know someone, not, not, not just knowing anyone, know someone who is sound-minded. Because yes. if you find someone like this guy here, <laughs> <laughs> you go finish it. Oh, but I think he's a good person because you uh, know <laughs> he's actually he's actually the one that <laughs> yeah, helped me with everything. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for your time. I wouldn't yeah. want to take much of your time. Okay. I guess you still want to go outside and have some fun, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So where do you plan going um, this afternoon? Where, where where are you going to? Well, I I want to go to the selfie spot. Okay. Yeah, I've not been there. Okay. And. There are some places that I I visited. I don't know. I think I would want to go there again because I need to take more pictures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's so okay. that's it. So guys, I think this will be the end of today's video. Um, leave a like and a comment, and um, yeah, catch you on another interesting episode like this one. So until then, stay safe, and uh, I love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Exactly. Thank you for your time. All right. <laughs> okay. Come on. You need to feel comfortable with it.